Hello, this is Matt from tracymat.co.uk. Just have a quick video for you to actually accompany the review I did of IM Plus on the Apple iPad. Um, but just to cover a few things so that the video actually makes sense on its own, there are a number of instant messaging clients available for the iPhone and the iPod Touch, but not so many available for the iPad at the moment. Uh, one that's available for a variety, well, in iPod and iPhone, is uh, Palringo, which is actually not bad at all. I've been using it for quite some time. Um, and it does work pretty well. Uh, it takes a little while to sign in, but unfortunately on the iPad there's no, uh, well there's no native iPad version at the moment. We just have this um, iPod and iPhone version. We could double up the screen size there, but it does make things a little bit blurry. Uh, and we still get the limitation of the actual keyboard on here. Uh, if we just pick a uh, conversation here with Tracy. Uh, we actually want to type anything. We've got the limitation of the sort of iPhone keyboard, albeit sort of in a larger size. Um, and obviously, if we want to just not blur it, it's just limited to the middle there. So, in terms of actually finding something that works natively on the iPad, we're fairly limited at the moment, in actual fact. Uh, but the one I've come across that I particularly like is IM Plus. It's a pay for app, it's $9.99 at the moment which might sound like a lot, um, and it did to me initially, I have to be honest, I thought $9.99 was quite a lot for an app, uh, especially uh, an app that I wasn't sure about, didn't know if it was actually going to fulfill my needs, so um, part, that's part of the reason for doing this uh, video and the review, so that you can actually see it. So let's pop into IM Plus. As it says there, it's an all-in-one messaging. So when we first start up, this is our main layout screen, as you can see here, I'm obviously working in landscape, as that makes most sense to me for this type of uh, uh, application. Uh, at the top we have our Twitter, and this is a, my main Twitter account, and it does tell, us, tell me here that I have 20 new messages from my friends timeline. Uh, and that will load up my friends timeline here. On the right, uh, unlike many other Twitter and other applications, it does actually load the most recent at the bottom rather than at the top. Um, but that just takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, and it does make more sense for, say, the IM side than it does the Twitter side. But that's kind of how that works. These are my online contacts. Um, I've only turned on uh, MSN Messenger at the moment. And we can actually see the ongoing conversations. So, see here, Tracy's uh, demanding her turn with the iPad. Um, she'll just have to wait. But you can bring up the full keyboard at the bottom and say... Not yet, and send that message. There we go. And you can turn off the keyboard. So obviously we have our contacts all the way down the side, which will be listed. Obviously if they're multiples, then that's scrollable. We can search for a person as well. We don't have to just scroll through the list. If you had hundreds of people, it might make more sense to actually do that as well. Your inbox also shown here. So if you've got your replies to messages and things like that, and direct messages, they'll be shown here. And then you can flick to active conversations. And if I want to go ahead and just delete that conversation, um, because I want to start a new one, or it's no longer relevant, I can just delete that conversation. So that's pretty good. So we can go back into our friends timeline. And uh, that will update throughout the day. And it also does actually update on the status when, even when I haven't got the application open, it will update uh, and I'll get uh, alerts or push messages and also badges on the icon. So that's pretty good. Uh, the actual in terms of what's supported, um, I've got several accounts set up. I've got my Twitter, my MSN, uh, Skype and Facebook. Um, Skype and Facebook have got turned off at the moment just for the purpose of doing the video. But I can actually add a number of other services, so AOL, uh, Yahoo, Google took Jabber, ICQ and MySpace or other services that you can also add. It's pretty good. The only limitation I've found so far is that uh, you can only add one of each account type which, um, okay, that's probably going to be okay for most people, but I can't add more than one Twitter account, so um, I have two, but that's no big deal. Um, the other thing that's pretty cool about this, though, is especially when we're talking about the friends timeline or the Twitter stuff, um, I can actually page through, as you can see there, I can page through the various types of uh, Twitter or tweet. So that's pretty cool. And the other thing I really like about IM Plus though is that um, because obviously there's no multitasking as yet on the iPad, um, one way that you might want to get around that is to actually have the web browser. So you can actually have a web browser window on the right hand side. 
So let's go to Tracy and Matt. Let's wait for that to load. Here we go. And so I can actually use a web browser. Obviously it's not totally full screen, but you know, it does the job. I can still zoom and use it quite well, not a problem. And I can obviously go to other sites and everything else. Um, and I can actually then choose to open this in Safari, which will close IAM Plus, but will open it in Safari. But I can use this as a pretty fully functional web browser. I can go back to my friend's timeline, have a conversation, have a conversation here, do other bits and pieces, and then I can go back to my web browser in between parts of the conversation. So if you're talking about something on the web, or if you're just in between conversations, you can still use the web browser without having to actually leave the application. I think that's pretty good. Gets around possibly some of the things that you might want to do uh, with a multitasking environment uh, if you're just using the web and MSN or you know, instant messaging clients. So I think that's pretty good as well. Uh, it does actually allow us to rotate. So we can use it in this orientation. And contacts work by sort of actually having this floating window, which works in much the same way as email does on the iPad, uh, where you have like a floating window and then your main body and that also works with your web browser so you can actually have a a larger web browsing experience um, although not still full screen it's worth pointing out but it does work pretty well and obviously you can rotate back so it's pretty good but I think to be honest it works better than its orientation so as I say this is IM Plus for the iPad it's a specific iPad application it's available from the application store the app store um, it is $9.99 uh, I think it's pretty, pretty worth uh, the money uh, I've certainly been using it an awful lot and well to be honest there aren't too many uh, options really for instant messaging for the iPad at the moment I'm sure there will be more uh, over the coming months but this I think is a very good application anyway definitely worth $9.99 so thanks for watching I'll be back soon with some more videos on tracingmat.co.uk